Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about Twitter, Elon Musk, and all the drama. Apparently, former CEO Jack Dorsey is calling the Twitter board dysfunctional. Well, shocker. Shocker. Twitter is dysfunctional? Twitter is dysfunctional? No. no. So hard to believe. I know, right? So uh, lots of drama around this. Uh, a lot of people are uh, calling the time of death on on Elon Musk's attempted takeover of Twitter. And uh, I do not believe it's over. I personally do not believe it's over. I think it's just begun. And uh, I think uh, Space Daddy is going to get what he wants. That's that's a really weird way of saying it. Don't say that again. Yeah. As Squid King would say, don't ever say that again. Don't ever say it. People call him Space Daddy. I'm really? Him, some people call him Space Daddy. I call you him Space call him Daddy. Of course you do. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Anyway, we're going to talk about this. Um, I haven't really been keeping up with the day-to-day -day on it, but uh, it is far from over. And now we've got Jack Dorsey saying, hey, yeah, the board is dysfunctional. Um, you know, they got an F from this uh, former SEC chairman, and uh, they actually don't own a whole lot of stock. They're trying to posture and be like, yeah, we're going to we're gonna tell you no. And then it turns out that they own very little stock amongst themselves. Wait, so they're gonna make a decision that cost everybody, cost everybody else yeah. millions of dollars because they themselves don't own much stock in it. Yep. So their decision might cost other people millions. Yeah, there are probably some investors that have a, a considerable amount of Twitter stock that will gladly take a buyout because they're tired of dealing with Twitter. And yes, these, these people, because they're afraid of losing their jobs, uh, are gonna vote against it or attempt to stop him. So let's let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants, guys. Over 263,000, almost 264,000 subs. Thank you for the support. Uh, we do talk about pop culture. We talk about Twitter because it is ground zero for cancel culture, which we talk a lot about on this channel. And uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting. This was today. Jack Dorsey, former former CEO of Twitter, uh, rips Twitter board over dysfunction in Elon Musk battle coming from the post. Uh, Twitter's founder and former boss, Jack Dorsey, slammed the company's board of directors on Sunday, even as the embattled executives are locked in a dispute over whether to accept Musk's $43 billion offer uh, to buy it. Dorsey criticized the board in a response to a post, which was a user quip the company's early beginning was mired in plots and coups among its founding executives, it's consistently been the dysfunction of the company. I think he got pushed out. Well, I told we thought that before. We've been saying that. I think he got pushed out. Uh, later, when asked by another user if he was allowed to say this about Twitter's board, Dorsey said no. But he's saying it anyway. But he's saying it anyway. I, I think he's. I think he is rooting for Elon Musk to uh, uh, punch these guys in the face for him is what I think is going on. Another tweet, Dorsey responded to a user who quoted venture capitalist Fred Destin as praising a Silicon Valley proverb that holds good boards don't create good companies. A bad board will kill a company every time. Big facts, he said. So I think Dorsey wants them gone. Well, yeah. I mean, the fact is they don't have a lot of stock themselves. So they don't have any interest, best interest in making the money off of this. So they are going to make a decision for everyone who does have shares. And that, that's a problem. That is a problem. Um, the tweets were some of the most direct criticism from Dorsey. Yeah, he didn't really say much. He just kind of was like, hey, guys, I'm, I'm going by. Mm -hmm. uh, he resigned. He resigned uh, last November. No, I don't think he resigned. I think they pushed him out. Uh, Dorsey is also leaving Twitter's board of directors when his current term expires at the company's annual shareholder meeting in late May. Uh, he has not directly commented on Musk's offer to buy Twitter. I think he wants he wants mm -hmm. Elon to buy it because payback is a bitch, yeah, I think, is probably. what's going on. Um, Dorsey said he was really happy Musk would be joining the board. Uh, Musk stepped up his own criticism of Twitter's board. We're going to talk about this, how little they actually own. After it enacted a poison pill provision to limit his ability to acquire more shares, uh, Tesla CEO has demanded that Twitter's board allow shareholders to vote on his offer. He responded to a user who shared a chart showing that Twitter chairman Brett Taylor and other board members only owned a tiny portion of the company's stock. Wow, with Jack departing, the Twitter board collectively owns almost no shares. Objectively, their economic interests are simply not aligned with shareholders, said Musk. Shocker. Shocker. Uh, a lot of times, CEOs of companies, uh, you know, don't really have... Uh, much of a, a stake in it. They're hired help, 
in this case, it's like the, the board just doesn't own much at all. Yeah. Board salary will be $0 if my bid succeeds. So that's uh, $3 million a year saved right there. He's going to take it over and fire all of them. So the board doesn't, doesn't own shares, but they get $3 million. Yeah. Collectively, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Dorsey owns 2.2%. Uh, Musk owns 9%. Yeah, this is not over. We've got people on Twitter, I mean, just losing their collective shit. Oh, I, it's funny. They, they keep having hissy fits. Uh, I, I just want to see. I mean, I'm not saying that having Elon Musk, um, you know, in charge is the best thing ever for Twitter. But I just kind of don't want them to have it either. I'm like, you know, if anything else, uh, you know, fundamentally, Twitter is going to change because people are already saying they're going to leave one way or another. Um, they're already like, the alt-right's trying to take over. Uh, people are out there saying, I, I saw freaking Eric Larson, the comic book guy we mm -hmm. talked about. Eric Larson's like, it's not really freedom of speech if you can literally say anything you want to. That's literally what freedom of speech that's is. That's literally what freedom of yeah, speech that's is. What they keep misunderstanding they keep equating freedom of speech to echo chamber yeah and censorship and that's that's not what it is because basically their freedom of speech is they can say whatever they want but other people can't because they don't like what i don't like what they have to say i only want to hear what my opinion is repeated back to me so they should be they should be stopped and shut up because they're that's hate speech that's why i personally want musk to take it over because i'm like you know even if he burns the damn thing to the ground at least twitter's gone twitter has entirely too much power. And we've seen, you know, the media freak out. I mean, they're trying every angle to, to discredit Musk from taking over. And, and really, it's all about the fact that they lose power. They've been able to control Twitter, uh, corporations and the media, and uh, they just parrot Twitter like, well, you know, oh, my God, all these Twitter users are calling for so and so's head. We better cancel them, get Hollywood to cancel this person. And really, like, there are no real people calling for so-and-so's head. Real people don't even know what the hell is going on. You're you're basically just parroting a bunch of shit on Twitter, stirring shit up mm -hmm. to make headlines, mm -hmm. you know. And, and to get, the way, get it to go the way you want it to go. Right, real people don't use Twitter. And the reason they don't use Twitter is it's a garbage platform. Well, when they go on about freedom of speech, some of the people that I've seen the most horrible, toxic behavior out of, the what the behavior like, the stuff they, they keep screaming about, have been the people that they would they consider their echo chamber. And I'm like, wait, so they're allowed to say whatever they want, even if it's a horrific, toxic, you know, istophobic, bullying, you know, that's freedom of speech. But somebody else says, well, oh, you know, Trump said, ah, oh, hurry up, cancel them. And it's like, that's, that's not what freedom of speech is. Freedom of speech is an, I get to say what I want, but you can't say anything. Yeah. That's not what, that's not how this works. I'm sorry. I just think it's hilarious that we have the board being like, that's okay. We're going to, we're going to stand up to Elon Musk. It's like they own jack shit for... But they're going to make a decision that could hurt a lot of other shareholders yeah. making money. So people will have millions of dollars invested. They're going to make decisions that could impact everyone else because they just want to stick it to, to Elon Musk. Yeah, I think Jack Dorsey wants to stick it to them. So this Probably. is going to be, this I mean, is gonna be if we're being fair. really interesting. We're going to we're going to keep an eye on this. But uh, just a bit of an update. I'm going to wrap this one up. Mm -hmm. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe, it's open and brewed through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. No, run, 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 run. Oh, oh you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey, guys, Squid King here, and today we're in a... Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding, he's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Ooh, I'm sorry. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true.
Can't run him carrying trash. And you can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna wrap this effer up. Yes. <laughs>